I have always been interested in the finer things in life. I've had the opportunity to navigate, you know, upper circles of society from time to time. At some point, I was really into all of that. However, never really wholeheartedly. Like, there was always something that made me, like, be a little bit like, ugh, you know? And I would say that I definitely lived quite on autopilot and just going with the flow back then. Because I remember I would be networking with people, not really thinking about, like, are these genuine people? Are these just fake friends? Friendships. Are these even good people? Also, you know, attending like parties, events, galas. Like it can feel quite fake and it has a reputation of being fake. But the thing is that it is also like fun and exciting and adventurous and has loads of opportunities and whatever. So you end up sometimes maybe like, okay, you know what? I'm going to close an eye on all the BS, like on all the fake stuff. So I kind of spent a lot of years, you know, back and forth in terms of like, okay, I kind of like it, but then I kind of need a break from it. And then, you know, I kept kind of continuing with this lifestyle for many, many years. And then when, you know, I moved to Geneva, you know, settled down, married life, blah, blah, blah. But as I finally kind of disconnected from the luxury that is in your face in London 24-7, especially if you are living in a certain part of town that I was in, I was continuously being fed with, you know, Bentley Rolls Royce or, you know, this or that. And you start thinking that, well, this is what I should aspire to. This is what's going to make me happy. And no matter what you acquire in life, no matter what kind of experiences you have, what destinations you visit, what designer items you own, deep down, it's actually not that special. You kind of felt like, okay, yeah, it's fun. But then you kind of realize that it wasn't that special or the grass is actually not greener on the other side. It's almost like there is an illusion about what we are fed with in our society, about what success is, what successful people do, how how they look like, about famous people too, how they are, how they live their life, like their bubble, their circles. We have this perception that it's probably like, mm, like this <laughs> until we see it and we kind of realize it's like this. You see, I feel like I fell a bit for the pressure of society, the information that society feeds us of what success is, of how success should look like. And I feel like I wasn't questioning enough back in the days of what I truly wanted or what truly made me happy. Not a zombie or maybe just like following along and be like, okay, well, I guess the dream is to be on a yacht or to be at some really exclusive party or go to some charity ball. I definitely have not been questioning things enough up until in the recent last few years when I just woke up one day and be like, but wait a second, why do I want these things? Why am I going to these parties? Why am I hanging out with those people? But then came a time where I started questioning what my leveling up goals were, or even like, what does leveling up mean to me? Not everybody has to have the same version of what leveling up means. For some, it might be to, I don't know, buy a cabin in the forest and live without running water. Like that's maybe what leveling up means to them because they just want to immerse in nature and live a life undisturbed. But for me, I bought into what media tells us, what social media tells us. And I'd say deep down, it's not really what actually makes me happy. And I'd say that a few years ago is when I told myself, why don't you redefine what truly makes you happy, what really energizes you, what really feels meaningful and adds value to your life? I started thinking about my lifestyle. How do I live my day-to-day -day life? What truly energizes me? What truly takes energy away from me? How can I rearrange and make better choices that feels more authentically true to who I am today? So I cut out some activities, added some activities, like I started horseback riding again again after a break of 15 years. And you know, I asked myself, I'm like, what have I been doing all these years? Why have I been wasting my time like hanging around with fake people and going to fake parties or shallow events? What have I been doing with my time? I implemented definitely a new habit of just stop saying yes to anything. I started becoming more selective with my time because what happens when you live
live a more still life, you actually get to hear yourself, your inner voice. When you're still, that's when a whole world may open up for you internally. But when you have so much stuff going around and voices and noise and escapism, it's very hard to stay grounded, no matter how many yoga classes you go to. So I realized that definitely I have to change my lifestyle. I have to live life more on my own terms and really stop with any autopilot habits. I think the art of uh, being authentic to yourself is to keep questioning life, keep questioning yourself, calling yourself out for any potential BS. It's okay to take decisions like this when you have to stay true to yourself. And I'm really setting boundaries with the noise, with the BS, with the toxicness, with the shallowness, with the things that just don't serve me. And I don't care if I seem like a loser, a boring person, or people think that I disappointed them, or I'm the bad guy because I'm stepping away. I don't care. Like, let me be the bad guy then. Say what you want to say. Think what you want to think. It doesn't matter. I need to do what's right for me, and it doesn't make me a selfish or bad person. However, does this mean that I'm no longer interested in any of the things that the old me would be interested in? No. That's not true. I've just widened my horizon a bit and I am more interested now in other things. I still have an interest for high society to certain degrees. I'm only adding a little bit of that in my life now compared to before. Elegance is something I'm still interested in, but I've always had a fairly balanced approach to it where I don't see it as some form of religion or a tool for perfectionism. I like to add a bit of elegance in my life, but I'm of course interested in other things too. I'm interested in becoming better, for every day, not necessarily better on the outside, but more so better on the inside, healing issues within myself, trying to work on myself as a human. I enjoy self-discovery. I enjoy living up to my potential. I enjoy seeking out that potential and I enjoy manifesting beautiful things in my life. And that's something that I really want to inspire you ladies to do as well. Because I feel like we live in times where there is so much noise around us, so much information that we are being bombarded with and sometimes you lose your own voice or it gets so diluted with all kinds of information that you don't even know who you are anymore. You don't even know what you want anymore. What is it that you really want? Figure that out. Have that honest conversation with you. No BS, no lying to yourself. And that is how you stay true to yourself. Especially if you start acting on what that inner voice says and you allow yourself to not be conventional, you allow yourself to be different, it's okay. You have nothing to prove. Here on YouTube, my journey will of course continue like it always done on leveling up, but I might talk more about things that I haven't really spoken about up until now. So if you're up for that journey, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to hear more on filter conversations, then you're welcome to come inside my Patreon. I'm currently really just letting loose in there and just speaking my mind and sharing everything. Things that perhaps not suitable for YouTube, but on Patreon, we can have quite a lot of fun. So in my next video, I'm going to be giving you more valuable information. Don't miss that. Hop on over to any of these two videos because you're going to really, really like, especially the second one.